hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x squared is equals to x divided by x and here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in the first method we need to move this x to the left hand side you see here x is divided by right hand side when we move it into the left hand side it is multiplied by x square and it will becomes x multiplied by x square is equals to x and in the next step we have x times x squared is equals to x cubed is equals to x and in the next step we move this x into the left hand side and it will becomes x cubed minus x is equals to zero and further in the next step we need uh, to take common x from both of these values and when we will take common x from here we get the remaining values are now uh, this is x square minus 1 is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is our first root of the given equation which we get here from first method and now in order to find the other roots we need to move this minus 1 to the right hand side so when we move minus 1 to the right hand side it will becomes <coughs> x square is equals to plus 1. So here for the values of x we need to take square root on both of the sides. So when we take square root on both of the sides it will be written as in this form. And further in the next step we see that this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here our x is equals to the square root of 1 is equal to 1. So we know that when we apply square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign on any one of the side uh, so we get x is equals to plus minus and one okay so you see here in the first method we will get here three roots of the given equation and now here in the next steps we need to verify that uh, which of these roots are solution and which of these roots are extraneous roots so for this we need to copy down given question statement here and it is x square is equals to x divided by x so in this side we will be verify x is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify x is equals to plus 1 and in this side we will be verify x is equals to minus 1 so here uh, we need to substitute uh, this value of x is equals to 0 on both of the sides and it will be written as this is uh, 0 square is equals to x divided by x is written as 0 over 0. We know that 0 square equals to 0 and 0 over 0 is uh, usually called uh, the indeterminate form. So if this is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is undefined. If this is undefined, it means that both of the sides are not equal. So both of the sides are not equal. We conclude about x is equals to 0 is that x is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation. Okay, because it is not satisfied our given question statement. So x is equals to 0 be the extraneous root. And now we verify uh, the other values of x so that here we substitute this value of x is equals to 1 on both of the sides. And when we substitute on both of the sides it will be written as 1 square is equals to 1 divided by 1 and 1 square is 1 1 divided by 1 is also equals to 1 so this shows that the value of x is equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement and now we verify the third value of x and here we substitute x is equals to minus 1 on both of the sides and it will be written as minus 1 squared is equals to minus 1 divided by minus 1 when we know that minus 1 squared is equals to plus 1 and this minus is cancelled out by this minus and we get here 1 divided by 1 equals to 1 so uh, this shows that the value of x is equals to minus 1 is also satisfied our given question statement so here we conclude about the solution set of this question is that uh, the solution set is plus minus 1 
so this is the our final solution which we get here from first method and now here we again solve this problem for second method so in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is x square is equals to x divided by x this is the our given question statement and now here in the second method we just directly get the values of x uh, here i can just use and other different techniques to get the roots of this equation now you need to focus into the right hand side and you see here this x is cancelled out by this x and we will get here x square is equals to one so here in order to find the values of x we need to take the square root on both of the sides so when we take square root on both of the sides it will be written as square root of x square root of x square is equals to square root of one so these two and the square root are gone and we will get here our x is equals to plus minus one we know that square root of one is equals to one and we get in the second method these are the two roots of the given equation so in the first method uh, we already verify that both of these roots are satisfied our given question statement so in the second method we also get the solution set of the given question is plus minus one so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos